So here we are, ladies and gentlemen, 53 years of history. Let's bring down the music just a teeny bit because here is something very exciting. We told you that we had some surprises today. Of course, I was sworn to secrecy. We couldn't tell you anything about it. I said that maybe the movie Armageddon, global, global scene here. Here it comes. What if Jack Devereaux was here? Surprises, but first, something very special. How would you guys like a sneak preview? How would you guys like to see something that nobody else in the world will get to see except you? Look up there and take a peek. Here is a little tease. Surprise return. 
We have some more surprises, like we were talking about a little while ago. There is a new girl in town. Ladies and gentlemen, please look to the red carpet. Please welcome Thea McGill! Coming to Salem, Thea McGill will be Haley Chen. this year. Welcome you guys, welcome to the family. We met a lot of people who find us, and like we talk about with your pictures and things like that, to hashtag your pictures so they can communicate, they can find you guys if you hashtag day of days. Likewise, we get a lot of our feedback, a lot of interesting pictures, a lot of find out where all the fans are, things like this. The cast members always trying to, uh, you know, key in on what the actual fans think. Now Jack is back. Right next to you, I want to get a rundown. Right next to you, to your left. Let's get Jack with Mike. You know that's going to be too. Let's turn the little There we go. We got a. Uh, ah. How about that? Ah. That orange one's out there. Yes. Hello. Hey. So, tell us a little bit about like being back in Salem. How's that feel? It's a shock. I, uh, I, I kind of don't know what to say. I come walking in and a lot of faces that look familiar, but I just can't quite place them. <laughs> uh, yeah, a lot of amazing people doing amazing work. Um, I came in into a set that I didn't think it could get any crazier, and that was only about act three. And there were about two or three more scenes to do before I came in, and it just got tougher and tougher and tougher. I said, wow, Salem is a very tough room. And it is, it is. Amazing actors doing amazing things. So I mean, it's, it's great, it's very exciting to be back. What do you think Missy feels about you coming back? Um, let's ask her, let's ask her. <laughs> now, Matt and I are pretty much, I mean, we've almost grown up together in our 20s, and now we're really old. So it's awesome. Um, and we just, you know, Matt and I, I feel like we just have this thing and you, and you can't, you 
you can make it happen. And it's incredible. just we get out on stage together. And then we throw Cassie DePaiva in the mix. So the three of us are having a ball, and of course, Matt, you know, he's our favorite, so it's, it's great. Yeah, he's back. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Awesome to see you guys all here. Hey, Thea, a new, a new member to our family here at Days, Days of Our Lives. What's it feel like? Let me get you a mic. Let's pass her down a mic. Can I just use this for one second? Give us a run now. What's it feel like being on the set, being a part of this new group? of so many accomplished, I mean, it's a real high bar here. Oh my gosh, it's absolutely surreal, especially being here in front of all these amazing fans who have come out um, from all around the world. It's such an honor. You know, this is my, uh, this is my debut TV role, and to start on one of the longest running shows in the country is so incredible. It's such an honor. Um, and I take that to work with me every single day, you know, and what a, a privilege it is to be part of this family and they inspire me so much as actors and as the genuine grounded people that they are and uh, yeah and as far as like you know my character it's she she's had to endure so much in her past and and to take on a role um, where she's just full of strength and and full of um, you know, she's just, she's such a vast character with so much depth, and I I am just so grateful that they chose me to tell her story. So it's been it's been amazing. <laughs> there you go. Yeah! Yeah! Such a surprise. Now, this is the guy you love to hate, and we. <laughs> I was telling a friend of mine and said, "Hey, yeah, there he is. Grab the mic, Hi. Xander Kariakis." Now, there's, you came out, there were a bunch of ladies right over here who said, I know that guy from somewhere. <laughs> but it was the way she said it, she was like, like her whole body changed. She was like, I know him from somewhere. And security was like, yeah, I got it, don't worry. It's okay. What, uh, how's this feel? I mean, this is, look, you got this whole new family, I mean, stars, everyone, you're part of oh, this. This is, this is just wonderful. Can you hear me? Yeah? yeah. Yes? Yes? Yeah. This is just wonderful because, as you know, Xander is, you know, died. And um, so to be invited here today, to be amongst all you wonderful people to celebrate a classic daytime character like Sandra Kiriakis, even though I'm no longer a part of the show, I think it just really speaks to what a family this show is. <laughs> even after my character dies, I'm still brought out. So, so it's just great. Thank you so much, guys. And thank you everybody for coming out. Um, I hope you enjoy whatever happens for these guys as the show progresses. I'm just sorry that I can't be a part of it. But oh, it's, it's fantastic. So, one of the things that we're going through is uh, there's a lot of things happening here in Southern California, and, and to get everyone here in one place at one time is truly a testament to the cast and the character of Days of Our Lives. As you guys know, that's why you're here. People have come from all over the world. You guys have been busy all day. I'm sure you've met some of these people, but we have people from literally all over the world, and they know each and every one of you like you've been a part of their family. So it's a real tribute to your work, to the show, and to 53 years of So what we wanted to do, if we can, what we wanted to do is open up and ask, have a few questions from the audience, if that's okay. I'm gonna do it. You guys ready? All right, here we go. Ah, I got, I got some people jumping up right now. Let me ask this gentleman. Come on over here. I'm going to go over there. And, uh, what's your name? Where are you from? Uh, Roy Sanders from Sacramento. Okay, your question goes to? Uh, Deidre, Miss Deidre Hall. Woo! I've been watching you for years, obviously, and I wanted to know, where would you like to see Marlena Evans go in the near future with Marlena and with your grandson, Will? Hattie. Hattie, Hattie. Oh. <laughs> and Mike? Um, uh, we're such good friends anyway. We have so much fun together. So whatever we end up doing, and we have been doing some things already, uh, will be fun for me. Um, you know, I, I, have to, um, I have to turn this over to Ron Carlovati because he can imagine things I could never dream of doing. And he... Um, 
you brought you Hattie telling off John. <laughs> all kinds of naughty things. So I will leave it in his capable hands, but thanks for asking. Awesome. Oops, sorry about that. There you go. Let me just make my way back here. Here comes somebody. She's got one hand. She's ready. What's your name? Where are you from? <laughs> my name's Jasmine. I'm from Austin, Texas. We got some fans out there. All right. And my question is for Deidre. So we loved you playing Hattie. And all we want to know is there a future Hattie dance party? to fans for about two hours this morning and I was asked that more than I can tell you. <laughs> Thanks for loving the dance. It was a it was a, a group effort, truly a group effort. And uh, more fun than I've had in a long time. So we, we're not gonna see Hattie for a little while, but if you love her, make your voices heard because I love her as much as you do. I got a question back here. Hello, my question's for Sierra. You really oh. All the way back. We're halfway in the band on the red carpet. Okay. <laughs> that was very nice. Do you really ride a motorcycle? <laughs> no, I don't, unfortunately, but I've been discussing it recently with my friends that uh, I'm probably going to get a motorcycle soon. Ah. Oh, shush, the A Vespa, a Vespa. Scooter, a bird, something. Down there, the bird. Here we okay. come. I got somebody right here to the right. What's your name? Where are you from? My name's Pam. I'm from Chino, California. What's your question for today? My question is for Olivia. And first, I have a real quick story. You may remember in Texas, I had ordered a blouse that matched what you wore on days and it didn't come to my home and I had it shipped to Texas and, and you're wearing it I, and it looks stunning and, and beautiful honor. and amazing and I love it. <laughs> my, question is, my question is, when are you coming up with a new CD? We can't wait. Ooh, thank you so much. Super soon. I have a lot of unreleased music that I'm really excited to put out and I really believe in and it's coming soon. Right now I have two songs out. Queen is a King Woo! and Just My Type out on Spotify and Apple yeah! Music. about the new stuff, so you can expect something very soon. Thank well, you. Well, thank you. Can't wait. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. We have a question over here. Sir? Yeah. Hey, uh, this is for Eric. I was just wondering, do you think uh, Brady will ever find true love, or is he just... <laughs> it's a tough spot. There you go. Yeah, I think Brady's focused on quantity over quality. <laughs> Yeah, and honestly, I'm, uh, like Deidre said, it's in Ron's capable hands, and if he wants to write me some true love, he'll write me some true love. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm hoping, though, man. Are you in love? Me neither. Let's get together. We'll have a beer. All right. We'll see you later. All right. I've got another question over here, and this person's going to help me interpret right now. Um, you had a question. What would that be? Hello, hi, I have my last question for Deidre. Um, I recently met you and I saw that you were signing and that just inspired me and I'm a sizable group of deaf people. So I'm wondering why, where you learned sign language to be able to communicate with your fans and how did you get involved with learning the language? My sister uh, uh, taught sign for years when she was teaching special education. And it just was so beautiful to me. And uh, we found that we were often in situations where nobody else that was hearing spoke sign. So we just picked it up. And we love that you all come every year. Yeah, uh, we have some people over here who traveled a great distance, I believe. Somebody up front. Did you have a question? Did you? All right, I got one back here. I saw your hands up. Okay, what would your question be? My question is, 
when you um, have a day off and go out in public. Okay, who would you like to say it to? I would like to ask um, Maggie. When you go out, when you go out in public, do you get recognized? Do you get privacy, or is it kind of like really hard? <laughs> Susan is shaking her head. Yes, we were together a lot, and yes, she we. We get recognized, and it's the hair or the. Suzanne gets recognized. <laughs> I do not recognize that beautiful redhead. And after a while, maybe a minute and a half later, say, and oh, and Suzanne will say, and this is Susan. She plays Julie. Oh, really? No. <laughs> I doubt no. that, Julie. You are beautiful. <laughs> and Suzanne never leaves the house looking any less beautiful than she looks right now. I stopped by her house once unannounced and actually saw her with a spot on her sweatshirt because she was cleaning the windows. Can you imagine it? No! <laughs> well, you know, yeah, I guess it's the hair. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, I just true. Put it we go out a lot, and, and we do. We love the fans, and I think that's why, you know, they, they kind of look at us and they go, are you in the Ralphs? My goodness, what are you doing here? And, you know, we all, we do everything else that you do. We go grocery shopping, we do clothes, we vacuum, we do windows. I'm not for sale, though. I have to chime in, because I'm just sitting here going, I once, I usually am in just ratty, rag, no makeup, whatever. I run into uh, Suzanne and her mother at Home Depot at 8 o'clock in the morning, looking like, I don't think I even brush my hair. Oh my God. She looked exactly like this. And, her mother, and I said, oh my gosh, amazing. So that's why, you know, really. Uh, anyway, thank you for the question. Yes. I'm way back here in the back. Very big. for Christian. Wondering, would you ever consider a return visit to Australia? Uh, I ever return to Australia? Oh my gosh! Like my bags are packed, my passport's ready. <laughs> Absolutely, it's so beautiful, and I must say, I, I've been there twice, mm -hmm. and everyone is so incredibly kind and lovely. And yes, I would definitely return. I would love to. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for flying all the way from Australia. You're welcome. It was an absolute pleasure. It's, it's amazing. amazing. And Susan Hayes, my stunning sister, mother, <laughs> sister, mother, mother, all, and Susan Rogers, two stunning, stunning women. I love you. And Susan, don't ever say that again. You're so gorgeous. Oh, right? I mean, come on. Dad, you're gorgeous too. I have a question for Galen. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. So, we all write our own little storylines for you when you're not on. You get all frustrated. But we want to know if you could write your own storyline, what kind of storyline would it be and who would it involve? Oh boy, that is a wow. very loaded question. You know I can't answer that. Um, I would thank you, by the way, for, um, for being such devoted fans. It's a, a total pleasure to be here. I'm totally going to gracefully sidestep that question and say, I, you know, I'm celebrating 10 years right now. Uh, both Eric Hartoff and I. And, and it, it's truly been an incredible journey. I know he agrees with me, and uh, it, it's just amazing. So, yeah. <laughs> but I do look forward to a great story. I think there is some coming, so stay tuned, and thanks again. We got another question right up front here. What's your name? Where are you from? Uh, my name is Sloan. I'm from the Midwest. Um, my question goes out to Olivia Rose Keegan. I just like, you've seen Claire change a lot throughout the series, and you've definitely like, had like, a lot of like character progression. My question to you is, like, how did you <laughs> prepare for your first love-making scene? <laughs> Alone. Those are some intimate details that I can't share with the audience. Answer the question. <laughs> no preparation needed, Sloan. We just jump right in. <laughs> just jump right in. Um, thank you so much for the question. <laughs> I love you. Thank you for coming 
all the guys looked, all the guys went, Shh, just like that. Wow. All right, we've got time for just a couple more questions here. I got one right over here. Yeah, well, what's yours be? What's your name? Or where are you from? Uh, my name is Marie, and I am from Dallas, Texas. My question is, maybe somebody can help. Ted Laurent, what, how do you say his name in real? How do you say his name? Is it Gilles? Laurent. No, no, no. What's his Jill. name? Jill. Jill. Mer Jill. Gilles Marinas. Marina. <laughs> He had to leave. He, he had to leave. He, he had to go to his other job. I know, but how do you pronounce it? Jill. Okay, so um, my other question is, when you first came to the set, were you other guys, like, threatened at all? <laughs> uh, always in the towel. We're going to kill him. We're going to die. You know, that really could happen on that show, too. <laughs> Never know. You never know. Any of the questions we have? By the way, uh, fellow castmates, he does walk around with his shirt off all the time, doesn't he? Have you seen this? Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. Come on up. What do you got? Hi, my question's for me. French. Dad. I know you recently became a grandma, and I'm just wondering how much you enjoy it. Back here, we got somebody. Now, you came from Hawaii, right? I did. I did. Aloha! These are my Aloha! Aloha. Yeah. My question is for Rob Scott Wilson. Yeah. You were so bad before. How does it make you feel that we love you and the fans Ooh. just love you? How does it feel, Rob? on this new uh, redemption storyline for him and uh, I'm gonna get the help of uh, amazing Victoria over here. It takes two to tango so um so yeah it feels pretty effing good. Yeah. Whoa, here we go. We got uh how are we doing on time, Kat? Alright, there we go. Alright, I got another question. I got another question here. Let me pull up some ah sir right there in the corner with the blue jacket. Let me go to you. What's your name? Martin. 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 So who is your question for today? Cass. I want to know where we can buy the syrup. Amazon.com. 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 Wow. One more, one more, one more, one more. We got 30 seconds left, 30 seconds. Hold on. Come, come, come. Who's your question for? All right. I'm just wondering how interested you are in having your grandmother for Kayla to become a grandmother. Well, since my son's in prison, <laughs> he's away. She's a possibility. And Trip, I don't think so yet. <laughs> got a few things on his plate. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, you know, the circle of life is a wonderful thing. So, and that's what this show is about, is the generations, and I love that. So. You know, I just want to take a second, right? because we all know we lost Peggy and Frank this year. People that are so incredibly dear to this show. And I know for me, and I think I can speak for everybody on this stage, we were so lucky to get the job on Days of Our Lives. But I didn't realize how fortunate I was to be part of the Brady family. With Roman and Bo and Kimberly and our parents, Sean and Caroline. And if you watch old clips, thank you to Patch and Kayla Instagram, wherever you are. The clips of them, especially in the finding out that Victor was the father of Bo, have been amazing. Yeah. They were amazing and um, such good actors, and they and they and they played their characters with such heart and soul and conviction. And um, I know for Christian was here during that. To all of us, it was so great. And um, Peter tweeted during this time that to look into Peggy's eyes, all he saw was a mother's love, and I think we all felt that with her. All of us. So I think half of these people are her grandkids or great grandkids. So anyway, here's a tribute to them, and um, we miss them, but they're going to live on in our heart in the history of Days of Our Lives forever.
first time I ever saw you. You looked up at me and you smiled. And it took my breath away. Your smile still does help to me. It does. Do you remember? Oh, of course I do. I was so excited I could already stand it. <laughs> and I remember saying, there's a man I think that I'd like to marry. <laughs> This is my fault. Frank is Roman. The entire situation. Because of what I did. And the secret I kept. I love you more than ever and I feel absolutely desolate without you. But I know how much I've hurt you. I know I've betrayed you and I'm just so sorry. I Thank you guys so much for being a part of what makes Days of Our Lives so special, so amazing. All these episodes, all these years, all the success could have happened without every single one of you fans. And a truly amazing Emmy Award winning cast. Give it up ladies and gentlemen. Thanks you guys for making it out this year. Thank you for coming from all over the world. Make sure you check out the podcast. Make sure you tag all your photos today. Hashtag Day of Days and watch. There's a new episode coming you'll truly love. Thank you so much for making it. Thanks to each and one of you actors who spent so many hours, countless hours working out the scripts and really truly having a love for what you do. Ms. Evans, thank you very much. Roger. Mr. and Mrs. Hayes, thank you so much. Big round of applause for your cats. Thank you. 
Oh, I thought you had these like eyes now. Let's get the cast to the side and then we'll look forward to the middle of the carpet until we get a camera slash. I it's really funny. It's really funny. Let's get Nanya and you guys moving just a bit from the side. Here we go.